हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे थ्री ऑफ आर मेन समाधान सेवेंटी फाइव डेज प्रोग्राम सो टुडे विल बी कवरिंग अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जीएस पेपर थ्री सो द सब टॉपिक इज एनवायरमेंट सो क्वेश्चन इज वाइल डिस्कसिंग द सी वीड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड द रिसोर्स पोटेंशियल इन इंडिया ब्रिंग आउट द चैलेंजेस ऑफ राइजिंग सी वीड टाइट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू मैंशन हियर वट इज सी वीड्स वी हैव टू गिव द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज हियर हियर द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट सी वीड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड देन वी हैव टू गिव देयर रिसोर्स पोटेंशियल एंड वट आर द चैलेंजेस ओके सी वीड्स आर ए ग्रुप ऑफ प्रिमेटिव नॉन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स विथ नो डिस्टिंगजेबल रूट स्टेम एंड लीव्स दे ग्रो ऑन स्टोरीज बैक वाटर्स एंड ऑल्सो ऑन रॉक्स डीप कोरल स्टोन्स पेबल्स सॉलिड सबस्ट्रेट्स एंड अदर प्लांट्स एज एफिफाइट्स बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ पिगमेंट्स मॉर्फोलॉजिकल एंड एनाटोमिकल कैरेक्टर्स सी वीड्स आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू ग्रीन ब्राउन रेड एंड ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी दीज आर वैल्युएबल रिन्यूएबल मैरिन लिविंग रिसोर्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द इंटर टाइडल शैलो एंड डीप वॉटर्स ऑफ द ओशन अप टू वन फिफ्टी मीटर डेप सो हियर दिस वन इज द की वर्ड रिन्यूएबल मरीन लिविंग रिसोर्स इज अ की वर्ड red brown green uh, red brown red and blue green algae are the keywords so from and they grow on estuaries and backwaters rest you can edit depending on the word limit so these are the things which needs to be mentioned in the intro okay now coming to the distribution so this is the distribution so you can have a uh, you can just make a diagram diagram are most related in geography or environment related questions wherever it is required so this is the distribution where we find the uh, seaweeds rich seaweeds are present in the coastal india starting from gujarat mumbai ratnagiri ratnagiri is in mumbai goa lakshadweep gulf of mannar pulicat chillika andaman nicobar islands visakhapatnam etc etc in india there are about <coughs> 844 species of marine algae have been found apart from commonly available 200 species of seaweeds about 680 species of marine algae belonging to rhodophyte pyrophyta chlorophyta commonly known as red brown and green seaweeds so this is also some information which you can write in your answer for enrichment among these the green algae are rare brown algae are widely distributed so this needs to be mentioned because these are widely distributed and red algae are small and delicate with feathery appearance so you can write just uh, one sentence if you uh, if it's a 150 word question you can just write in india uh, brown algae are widely distributed fine now what are the advantages obviously export potential india can cul uh, cultivate more uh, much more than the present because india has a very big potential of 7500 km coastline so it can utilize its export potential next is economic or commercial use because it is a renewable source of food energy chemicals medicines so this can be used in algal biofuels you can use it with our you can or we can integrate with our national biofuel policy national biofuel policy also raw material for industries like uh, health food textiles fertilizers pharmaceuticals it can be used as a man in manufacture of pharmaceuticals cream paper cardboard and processed foods also it acts as a occupation because it will give that economic benefits or a kind of an employment to occupation to coastal people now coming to the environmental advantages seaweed farming is an eco friendly activity it is an eco friendly activity major tool to th to treat coastal population in sea and reduce carbon dioxide in global warming so this you can use in environmental advantages now what are the challenges very less large scale attempts to grow seaweeds in india and despite a 750 km coastline we have a big coastline but the attempts are very less lack of technology to improve processed product quality and lack of information on new and alternative sources of raw materials we do not have much more information on the alternative sources of raw materials now the culture period is only 4 months because it is during the winter as it cannot grow in rest of the year due to high temperature due to high temperature it cannot grow the seaweed farming is mostly limited to the winter eutrophication is also a major uh, disadvantage or a harmful uh, effect on seaweed cultivation 
if done scientifically it may lead to decrease in dissolved oxygen and lead to mass kill of marine species so these are the challenges of seaweed now in conclusion you can write since uh, there is a huge potential which can also provide livelihood and income to the local fishermen community so the need of the r is to have a proper framework for seaweed cultivation it can also be integrated into our national export policy and also it can be integrated in our aquaculture policy so the ministry of fisheries or the ministry of agriculture should work upon it and send their draft uh, policy to the ministries and the national government can come up with uh, a particular policy on seaweed farming in their export policy and also in their aquaculture policy so uh, this is the way you have to write a answer in the required word limit fine so anyone who wants to join uh, our course uh, to uh, for answer evaluation and also to for any kind of um, any kind of content or enrichment of answers uh, how to write in uh, write in word limit for gs 1 2 3 4 uh, because uh, means is the only thing which can give you a rank because so you need to have proper writing skills proper writing skills and it is for only those people who have gone through their prelims at least uh, uh, polity history economy so they need to uh, go through their prelims knowledge or they, they need to have the prelims knowledge in prior to write a very good answer for example you are going through for any fresher if is going through a polity chapter so side by side they also need to have the answer writing techniques for that particular subject so you can you can uh, call here or you can join my uh, telegram channel uh, you can go visit my website which is also available in this channel and can uh, contact okay fine thank you